Meet the Titanoboa, the largest and most fearsome snake to have ever slithered across the Earth. This prehistoric predator vanished 55 million years ago. But what if it hadn't? Before we imagine a world where Titanoboa still exists, let's journey back to its reign. Around 60 million years ago, after the dinosaur's extinction, Titanoboa dominated the tropical waters of South America. It was an absolute monster, growing up to 50 feet, 15 meters long, and weighing over 2,300 pounds, 1,000 kilograms. Despite its lack of venom, Titanoboa was anything but harmless. Instead, it killed by constriction, wrapping around its prey, crushing the life out of it, and swallowing it whole. If its victim tried to escape, they'd be met with rows of razor-sharp, backward-curving teeth designed to trap anything unfortunate enough to get caught. And thanks to its perfect camouflage, Titanoboa could strike from the shadows, feasting on crocodiles, turtles, and fish. But if it was such a dominant predator, why did Titanoboa disappear? The answer lies in drastic climate shifts. At first, Earth experienced an intense heat spike called the Paleocene-Eocene Thermal Maximum PETM. This raised global temperatures by 8 degrees Celsius, 14 degrees Fahrenheit, turning the planet into a steamy greenhouse. Titanoboa may have thrived in this sweltering environment, growing even larger as warm-blooded competitors struggled. However, the oceans also became acidic, possibly disrupting its food chain. Then, around 50 million years ago, Earth cooled significantly. The once lush polar forests turned into icy wastelands. For cold-blooded creatures like Titanoboa, this was disastrous. Without a warm environment to power its metabolism, it likely perished. But what if Titanoboa had evolved to survive? Could it have developed warm-blooded traits like certain fish and sharks? Some species, like the moonfish and white shark, use a vascular heat exchange system to regulate their body temperature. If Titanoboa had followed a similar evolutionary path, it might have survived the cooling period and adapted to new environments. Fast forward to the Miocene epoch. Earth's climate fluctuated again, leading to the rise of mammals like saber-toothed cats, giant camels and rhinos. If Titanoboa had endured, would it have evolved into a desert-dwelling, warm-blooded mega-snake? In a modern world, a surviving Titanoboa would be a top predator, lurking in rivers, stalking its prey in dense jungles, and possibly growing even larger with today's abundant food sources. Could we coexist with this behemoth, or would it become the ultimate apex predator, dominating ecosystems and terrifying humanity? Let us know in the comments what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to Skywatchers HQ for more prehistoric science and space facts.